हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 24.1 व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इन अवर नवनीत डाइजेस्ट सो ऑन पेज नंबर 289 एक्सरसाइज 24.1 इज देयर सो बिफोर गोइंग टू सी दिस एक्सरसाइज जस्ट वी आर मेकिंग द ओवरव्यू ऑन अ सॉल एग्जांपल्स सो ऑन अ प्रीवियस पेज नंबर 288 so question number 1 is there an article bought for rupees 4963 it sold for 5354 okay so this selling price is more means that is the, there is a profit okay so what is the profit for or loss in this transaction there is a profit so to calculate this profit sold price uh, from this one we have to subtract the cost price means purchasing price so 4963 so after this one you will get 391 okay so profit means 391 is given in option number 2 then question number 2 a stationer purchase 10 set of pencils each contains 10 pencils so 10 sets and one set containing 10 pencils so 10 multiplied by 10 there are the 100 pencils the cost of each set was 45 okay so 45 each set so we will do this one with the set multiplied by 10 so that is a 450 that is the cost of total this one uh, 10 sets then he sold each pencil for rupees 5 so this how many pencils are there 100 so each pencil sold by 5 rupees so that is a 500 rupees is the selling price so and purchase price is a 450 so what is the, uh, what was his profit or loss in this transaction so there is a profit because this selling price means 500 and the purchase price which is a lesser means 450 so 500 minus this 450 so there is a 50 rupees profit so 50 rupees profit is given in option number 1 then question number 3 hari bought goods worth rupees 50000 and spent Seven hundred rupees on transportation. So transportation and the purchase price that we have to add. So this is a fifty thousand and seven hundred. Okay. So that is a his total purchase cost. Okay. So then if he sold the goods for fifty two thousand nine hundred, how much profit he did make? So selling price is a fifty two thousand and nine hundred. So from this one, the difference is we are getting two thousand and 200 so this is given in option number 3 so this much profit he has made then we are going to see the exercise on the next page means page number 289 so question number 1 is there nana sai purchased an ox for rupees 32000 and spent 1500 on transportation to take it at home so 32000 okay so this is a buy price and plus transportation 1500 so this additions with this one so 33500 is the cost of the uh, ox purchase okay then after 3 months he sold it for 35300 then uh, how much profit did he earn in this transition so 35300 is the selling price and from this one this price means purchase price which is a smaller one so that we have to subtract it okay so 00 as it is then 3 will becomes the 13 and this 5 will comes the 4 so 13 minus 5 so that is a 8 and 4 minus 3 is a 1 and 3 minus 3 is a 0 so 1800 is a we can say the profit on which is given in option number 2 then question number 2 240 notebooks were purchased at rupees 300 per dozen and sold it at profit of the rupees 36 per dozen what is the profit 240 notebooks means how many dozen so divided with the 12 because 12 notebooks or we can say the 12 numbers is equals to the one dozen so 12 ones are 12 to then zero as it is means there is a 20 dozens okay so as per this one he has make a profit of 36 per dozen so with a per dozen and there are the 20 total dozens okay so 36 rupees per dozen so as per this one 20 multiplied by 36 we have to do to calculate the profit okay so 36 to the 72 and this zero as it is means 720 rupees he will make the profit and this is given in option number 3 now question number 3 
Shamu purchases 36 chiku at the rate of rupees 10 and for 2 sold them at rupees 24 for 4. Did he make a profit or incur a loss? How much? So he has purchased total 36 chiku, but the rate of this one 10 rupees for 2. Okay, means we can say 10 rupees in a 10 rupees 2 chiku was there. Okay, so means 1 chiku having the 5 rupees cost. Okay. So as per this one, he has purchased the chiku and sold them at 24 for 4. Okay. So sold them 24 for 4 means we can say 1 rupees uh, uh, for 1 chiku rupees 6 is a selling price. Okay. So like this one means this is purchase price and this is selling price. So in this one, 1 rupee he has get a profit. Okay, so he has made the profit meant how much profit he has done. So there are the total 36 chikus and the difference in this one is a 1. So 36 ones are 36. So profit of the 36. So this is given in option number 1. Or in another way also we can do. So this 36 multiplied by this 5 and then 36 multiplied by this 6 also we can do. And after this one the difference we can calculate. So that will be also the same means 36. Then question number uh, four, the selling price of an article is double its cost price. What is the profit? So selling price, we can say selling price SP is a of the uh, article is a double of its cost means we can say the two multiply by uh, selling price equals to two multiply by CP means cost price. Okay. Then what is the uh, he has make the profit now? SP is equals to 2 multiplied by CP. So from this one we have to deduct the CP. So to calculate the profit as we know the SP minus CP. Okay, but SP is equals to 2 CP. Okay, so 2 CP minus this CP. So 2 minus 1 is a 1 means CP means the only the cost price equal to the cost price means this is given in option number 2. Now question number 5 on selling an article of rupees 550 there is a loss of rupees 50. If the same article is sold for rupees 700 what is the profit? So when selling of the, any article with the 550 loss of the 50 rupees is there means we can say the CP is CP is equal to selling price means 550 plus 50 so that is a 600 rupees because that is a loss okay this is a loss so that's why we have to add this one okay in this case the cp is more than the selling okay now if the same article is sold for rupees 700 so suppose 700 if that is selling then what is the profit so 700 uh, then minus this 600 because this is a cp so there is a 100 rupees profit and 100 is given in option number four now question number six four dozen ball pen were bought for rupees 2 and 50 paise each on selling there is a profit of rupees 12 what is the selling price of each ball pen so 4 dozen ball pen so 4 multiplied by 12 so that is a 48 and each pen having the price of rupees 200 uh, sorry 2 and 50 paise means 2 rupees and 50 paise so this total value we have to calculate so this so this is a purchase price and 12 rupees he has make the profit so plus 12 so there is a 132 and with the dividation with the 132 with a, this 48 number so with a 48 so this is equals to the 2 and 75 paise 2 rupees and 75 paise this is given in option number 3 or in another way if there is a 48 total pains and profit 12 so 12 divided by 48 or this 12 rupees is there so we will convert in paise so that will be the 1200 and divided by 48 so as per this one also we will calculate so with this one also we will get the uh, 75 as a so that is the 25 means this is a paise okay so means we can say 0.25 is a rupees okay and previously that is a 2 and 50 okay and plus now the new value will comes after the additions of the profit because profit is there so this is a profit per pen ball pen so that is a 25 we have to add so that is a 2 and 75 so this is a 2 rupees and 75 so this is also the another way so on this basis option number 3 is the correct one then question number 7 Gauri spent 350 rupees on repairing of the TV set 
थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी स्पेंडिंग ऑन रिपेयरिंग विच वॉज परचेज फोर टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आफ्टर सम डे सी सोल्ड इट फॉर सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड रुपीज ओके सो धीस स्पेंडिंग एंड धीस परचेज वैल्यू दैट वी हैव टू एड सो आफ्टर दिस एडिशन दैट इज अ एट फिफ्टी एंड दिस फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सो दिस इज अ एस सी पी ओके सो दिस इज वी कैन से सी पी और कॉस्ट प्राइज एंड एस पी इज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड ओके एस पी सो दिस एस पी इज बी गर्वन सो मीन्स देर इज अ प्रॉफिट सो सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड माइनस दिस फोर्टीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी सो आफ्टर दिस वन सब्ट्रैक्शन वी विल गेट द जीरो जीरो एज इट इज देन दिस टेन देन दिस नाइन ओके सो टेन माइनस फाइव इज अ फाइव दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज वन सो इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सो दिस इज अ प्रॉफिट एंड दिस इज गिवन इन ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री देन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वेन अ शर्ट इज सोल्ड फॉर रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड द प्रॉफिट अर्न इज थ्री बाय एट टाइम्स द सेलिंग प्राइज थ्री बाय एट ऑफ द एस पी ओके सो वट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्राइज ऑफ द शर्ट सो दिस इज अ एस पी ओके दिस इज एस पी एंड वी आर आस्किंग अबाउट द कॉस्ट ऑफ द दिस प्राइज ऑफ द शर्ट ओके सो दिस थ्री बाय एट मल्टीप्लाय बाय दिस फोर हंड्रेड इफ यू डू सो एट वन जा एंड एट फाइव जा फोर्टी एंड दिस जीरो मीन्स दिस इज अ वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी दिस इज द प्रॉफिट सो एस पी माइनस दिस प्रॉफिट इफ यू डू सो देन वी आर गेटिंग दिस सी पी इज इक्वल टू सी पी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द सी पी सो एस पी इज फोर हंड्रेड एंड माइनस प्रॉफिट इज वन फिफ्टी सो फोर हंड्रेड माइनस वन फिफ्टी दैट इज द टू फिफ्टी इज द सी पी एंड टू फिफ्टी इज गिवन इन ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री देन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन जॉन परचेज अ मोटरसाइकिल फॉर रुपीज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड सोल्ड इट फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड डीड ही मेक अ प्रॉफिट और लॉस एंड हाउ मच सो ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज अ सी पी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज अ एस पी सेलिंग प्राइस एंड दिस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज अ सी पी सो इन दिस वन एस पी इज मोर एंड सी पी इज स्मॉलर एंड द डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दिस वन दैट इज अ फाइव थाउजेंड एंड दिस इज अ प्रॉफिट वी कैन से ओके सो फाइव थाउजेंड प्रॉफिट इज गिवन इन ऑप्शन नंबर टू थैंक यू